my lovelies welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a before and after of an ikea coffee table hack that my husband and i did we've been wanting to do this for the longest time and we are so glad we finally did it we absolutely love the way it came out so if you guys want to see how we did it just keep watching this table is from Ikea and it was $20, I believe. If I find it online, I will link it down below. But as you can see, there's a lot of nicks and marks on it and it got so annoying seeing that when we were using it. The next thing you will need is any type of wood you want. I decided to go with this width. I liked the way it looked and I liked the flaws in the wood as well. We will be using Gorilla Glue to glue down the wood to the table. The next thing you will need is a stain. I decided to go with a natural look, but you guys can go as dark as you want or as light as you want. It's completely up to you. The last thing you will need is some polyurethane just to seal it. So the first thing you will do is measure the wood to the table and make sure that it's even and you get it to where you exactly want it. Now in this video, I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, but I thought you did DIYs. Well, my husband and I are a team and we always say it's my vision, his craftsmanship because he doesn't let me use any of his big tools and I just have the vision and I decorate. As you can see here, we were a little short, but we decided to have the top go over the table a little bit and it turned out really great. So here is Daryl playing with his toy. Now when I say he doesn't let me use it, it's not because he's like stingy, but it's because I am very clumsy and he's just very paranoid that I will get hurt. So yeah, he's in charge of all the carpentry, anything that has to do with wood cutting or anything like that. I am more so just the one with the vision. So yeah, here he is cutting his wood and he did a great job and he's just showing off here now. This is what it looks like once the wood is on the table. It looks really, really pretty. And next is sanding. So next we just started sanding. It's pretty self-explanatory. We bought this sander at Lowe's and it works so much better than just sandpaper. The next thing we did was use Gorilla Glue to glue down the wood. Gorilla Glue expands, so we were only putting little dots on there. We later on went back and put more glue because it wasn't sticking. Just make sure you don't over glue it because Gorilla Glue does expand and you don't want the glue to be all over the place because then it'll make your project look kind of ugly. So yeah, we just got these clamps and we just pressed down on them to make sure that it sticks. And here is the hubby acting all types of romantical, blowing me kisses. And this is the before and after of the stain that I'm using. As you can see, it has like a gloss to it afterwards. It's so nice. And it is the Minwax Wood Finish Penetrating Stain in Natural. So it is time to finally stain the table. This is probably the easiest DIY I have ever done. If you guys have an old coffee table that has a lot of nicks and marks on top of it and you don't use it anymore or it just annoys you, putting wood planks on top is the perfect way to just spruce up your living room and it is so easy to do. I am all about refinishing furniture so we don't have to be wasteful with an old piece that we don't like. There is nothing better than just to get some spray paint and get some wood planks or get something and be creative with it and just bring it back to life. And that's what we did with this coffee table because we could have easily thrown it out. The last step is using the polyurethane. I used the spray can and the semi-gloss. So I just sprayed it all over the wood to make sure it got a good seal. And this is the final product. I absolutely love the way it came out. I have this in my living room and it just brings a whole new life to my living room. It's so much more cozy and I am just obsessed with the way it looks. I am so excited to decorate it for the fall and for Christmas because I feel like it's a perfect fall and Christmas table. It brings in that shabby chic rusticness, which I am in love with. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new and like this video. And if you guys like watching videos like this, please, please, please let me know and I will continue to do more. Love you guys and I'll see y'all later. Bye!